Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in new Old World Blues, starting a new campaign, playing as a very special <clears throat> southern nation. And of course, we all know from the thumbnail, perhaps, that we shall choose Costa Cafenada, with the man, Baron Garcia, who makes a lot of that good stuff right there. He's a coffee king. And I'm going to show you these game rules right now. It's going to be random. I have no idea what's going to happen. So let's just go ahead and get started in it. Yes, my favorite drug. Mmm, coffee, good stuff. But that caffeine hit, mmm, mmm, good stuff. So, now Costa here, I'm just going to refer to him as Costa from here on out probably. Costa is unique because we're not independent at the start of the game. Even though we're loading, we're not independent. We are act actually a puppet of Nueva Atzlan. Which is kind of interesting. Usually, I don't start off campaigns as a puppet, but you know what? Here we are. But anyways, we have Articles of Association. Our friends at Costa have served the thirsty citizens of Mexico for over ineligible years, or illegible. But it's a long trip to the top, and nobody knows that, like us, something, something, something. Cool. Maybe that wasn't completely set, but we only have three divisions. But you know what's interesting? We use ghouls, or we have the option of using ghoul divisions, which I'm going to use much more than uh, infantry. Infantry, yeah, they're alright, you know. But ghouls, actually, the diff difference between a ghoul and an infantry division is that ghouls use plus .05 supply, while infantry uses .1, I think. And I think that's the, literally the only difference, at least right now. Which is fine. Whatever. That's good enough for us. Uh, garrisons, we probably won't need garrisons for a while. We're going to make a lot of ghoul divisions. We also start with a small navy. Cool. They're going to be led by El Capitan. Ironside Factor. Cool. Just combine. No one cares if you're together or not. Do that. We have four research slots and we are civilized. Very cool. And, yep, we got. We are a ghoul civilization. Do we have any other buffs? Nope. No other buffs. So. Uh, what are we going to do? Industry, of course. Industry. Or engineering. Research speed. We're going to grab a little bit of this industry planning. Some tool procurement. And ignore our land auction because we're not going to go to war at all at the moment. Not yet. And we're going to use pipe guns because we love guns. And let's see. For this stuff, uh, schooners, I think, are the best things that we can really make now. Let's double check the naval stuff because I really don't check on naval stuff too much for... Overall blues, schooner holes are where it's at, because river barges, tugboats are a little bit too advanced. Never use cutter holes just because schooners are just better light screens, at least in my opinion. Yeah, we need some triremes, but schooners are where it's at. Cool. Which one is better? The one with the higher number is better. Let's get that, thank you very much, and come down to base level 7. Cool. And we're going to build a lot of civilian factories, 30%, 30, 30, 20, yes. Now, here's a weird thing about Costa here. Uh, well, that's weird. Uh, I get okay, that happened. Anyways, we are a puppet, and we need to earn our freedom. That means we gotta get more autonomy. I'm not used to this. I'm really not used to trying to get autonomy. Usually, I'm the puppet master and never the puppet. So, we're gonna lose political power eventually to get more daily autonomy gain. Meeting their needs, we lose construction speed and lose consumer goods eventually. It is what it is. To give more autonomy game, I could give a manpower, which gives us quite a bit of freedom, or more autonomy, but manpower, as we all know in Old World Blues, can be pretty darn precious. And actually, we're pretty close to becoming free. Halfway there. So, let us go right on. Uh, shippies. Ooh. And we immediately profit from the drug trade. I love drugs. Great. Jet, buff out Psycho, Mentats, Mary Jane, Caffeine, pass me a hit. Cool. Go ahead and train. You guys are doing great. And for these guys, for our normal infantry, La Mano Derecha. Cool, man. We're going to need a field marshal eventually, but I'm going to save my political power for now. We're not going to be at war anytime soon. Go ahead and do that, and give me more army XP. That's pretty darn importante. We get 1.15 political power a day, in which I'm going to raise it up soon, but the Articles of Association, established in 2XXX, or 2000, some year in 2000. Your friends at Costa have served the thirsty citizens of Mexico for over a certain number of years, but it's a long trip to the top, and no one knows that like us. Why, when our Kakika, or, oh god, I don't know how to pronounce that, Kachike, first founded this company, it was nothing more than a simple corner cafe, a lot of political power and civilian workshop, or a quiet transportation company with strong <clears throat> community ties. Ooh, we get two more arms workshops, 
and or a lot of political power and civilian workshop. I'm going to go with two civilian, two arms workshops and better relations with everyone else. That sounds like fun. So we can make more guns quicker. The taste you can't forget. Don't be fooled by our mascot. It's not all smiles at the Costa Cafenada compounds. Hard work and dedication to the company are a must for all of our employees. Very good, very, very good. All right, so uh, the first decision I'm going to take, probably, I could do earning our freedom, which is good. But let's see, cultural advisor, we have this guy, the Baron, literally Baron Garcia, who gives us quite a bit more political power every day. 0.25, people are like, you know what, if it's 10%, it's not worth it. If it's 0.25, that's not bad. So I kind of like that, and we'll need a little bit of political power too eventually. But anyways, the taste you can't forget. Let's see. But don't let that bring you down. With a free serving of Costa's delicious in-house blend every day, you'll never feel reluctant to work again. So you'll feel as strong as a death claw, so you lose 45% stability. Holy cow. You lose 40% recruitable population. You get 80% more stability, and damage to garrisons go up to 100%. Oh my god. You lose 30% stability, but you gain 70 Lose 25% more damage to garrisons, 50%. And it's all completely free, TM. Uh, you lose 20% stability. You lose 20% of your recruitable population. You get 50% stability. And damage to garrisons goes 25%. I like the free. If it's free, it might be for me. It might feel a little weird, but that's okay. Business forecast. You too can be a part of something especial. Oh, yes, I can be. Look at that. 2,700 manpower or ghoul power. Mm, not bad. We want some money. And business forecast. You too can be part of something special as Costa prepares for another great year of financial growth and new market opportunities. Whether as a prized financial partner or one of our loyal employees, together we can build a fresher future. And this is, of course, from a company statement from 2275. Uh, let's see, the fresh new taste of Mexico. More construction speed for like two-thirds of a year. It's not bad. That's okay. Building a plan for the future together. Oh, get a little bit more construction speed for two years. Or the skull you can trust. That sounds great to me. I like that. Give me more civilian workshops, even though we can't see them or feel them. But now the rest of the tree is opened up to us. We could go public. We get financial decisions, which sound like fun. Allow foreign nations to invest in your country, making sure to meet your investor demands. Or private investments, which we get just flat construction speed and consumer goods. I want to kind of go public. That sounds like fun. Now, with this tree, uh, it's not huge by any means, but it's interesting. If we want to expand our operations. We have to become fully independent eventually. We can trade with Honduras, get a trade mission to Honduras, goods for Geras, which is okay, negotiation table, cutting a deal with those people and the Nueva Atzlan people. We can get more population eventually, or hiring the best, which I'm not going to hire the best probably. Costa requests military support, which gives you weekly war support. Rely on Atslan. Mafioso tactics. Hmm. I think I want to go down. Which way do I want to go down? I don't know. Treaty. I do want to go down this side, just because you eventually get another research slot, and that's going to come in handy while we're still at peace. And you can get decap, which gives you way more political power. So, getting a deal. Trade costs. Let's go public. So, an easy way to inject more funding into our business operations is to sell stocks in our company to the public. While we may have trouble finding suitable business partners around us as our operations expand, we're sure to find someone gullible enough to buy in. Capitalism! Ah, oh, my favorite. My other favorite drug. Capitalism. Good, so right now, we're just going to go speeding on through this as kind of as fast as we can to get to the next event, to the next research, and stuff like that. And that's going to be a lot of the uh, campaign, just because we are a puppet. Now, what do we need? We have... Minus 574 guns. We're only making less than three a day. Can I buy some... S oh, we have slaves. We have slaves, we have drugs, and we can buy guns. What other place would... Where else would you want to live? This is the best place ever. We have 600 caps. Can I buy guns? The organization does not have enough guns, huh? The market does not have enough stock. Come on, man. Come on. I wonder how long does it take to for the... <clears throat> market, the B market, to get uh, stock. Because we could really use that. I just arranged to play Warren Vipers. No one cares. Oh, what are we lacking? Oh, there we go. They got stock. Uh, we're lacking scrap, metal. We're probably exporting this to Nueva Atzlan, so they're abusing us, those terrible oppressors. So let's spend a little bit of caps to get a little bit more basic melee weaponry, which is okay. Yeah, you know, it's not guns. It's not pipe guns, but, you know, it'll do. We got some tool procurement. 
We've got some industry planning. We're going to work as needed, you know. Good stuff. We're going to get some improvised tools for more production efficiency cap. We're going to get more construction. And what else we want? More pop. Organized agriculture? Sure. Screw land auction. We don't need that right now. We want to make a profit. That's what we really want. And now I could do this. An inattentive eye. It seems that the bureaucrats of Nueva Atzlan have found a new punching bag lately. Demands are not being enforced, communication is sparse, and our government is running unhindered by outside forces. For now, at least, we have the, we have the reins of our nation. Do we add more autonomy or get more political power? I would really love more political power, but let's get more autonomy. We could do night meetings. I'm not going to do this yet. I really want to get this guy first. It's only 13 more political power, which isn't really that much more. And we're going to use this all game. All game, we're going to be using the Baron and getting more political power, which I think is really good. So we can get do more decisions and have enough political power to do everything else in the future. And now we get 1.55 a day. Beautiful. And we've just gone public. We can get Coffee Kings, less resource efficiency gain, more factory output, and less resources to market. Second breadbasket of Mexico, which isn't really bad either. Oh, soft reclamation projects or soil reclamation pro projects is actually pretty good. We're going to go straight down for decap to get down to research slot as fast as possible. So then we'll do secure the trade routes, maybe? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Coffee Kings, it is. The foundation of Costa is coffee. Ground, premix, thermo sealed. As long as it's coffee, we sell it. We are the kings of coffee, not only in Mexico, but across America and possibly what's left of the whole entire world. And look, more political power. Let's go ahead and do night meetings. Uh, meeting their needs. Ooh, what do we want? Oh, let's do that one first. Let's do meeting their needs first. It hurts our ability con to construct stuff. But night meetings takes more political power away from us. So let's do the other one first so we can get to it quicker. Which would be good. And can we go public yet? No, we can't go public yet. That's okay. Night meetings, night meetings, night meetings. One and a half political power day. Very nice. Very, very nice. Night meetings. Great. We got 28 naval XP, which we might do a little bit with our navy since we're down here. The she want to have a death wish already. And we have decisions available, which which is what it is. I will probably never, ever do conscription drive, even though it's really good for autonomy. Or it's, it's just fairly okay. 1,500 manpower? That's a lot. That's a lot of ghouls that we lose, man. Uh, go and do seed selection. That's fine. Like I said, it's a death wish. Umbra, good. I like how big Umbra is. Washington Brotherhood is still here. It's pretty normal. Guys are trying to kill off Twisted Hairs. I hate having Twisted Hairs. That sounds really weird. Create an agency. Iron Alliance is going to war with, uh, with their dogs. Conscription drives. What else we got here? We can purchase Jet. Some buff out. Some Psycho. Hmm. I might buy slaves. This kind of sounds like fun. What do slaves even do for me? I get a slave a month. For every 200 slaves, this perk will become more valuable. Well, plantation needs it. Hmm. Cool. All right, we almost have coffee kings. Come on, just a week left. Just a week left. As we're training more guys, train, train, train. Even though they really don't need training at all. And we're trying to build, build, build. Troll war, declare war on the carcass walkers. Very cool. Coffee kings. A new strain. Research speed. Oh, that's a hundred days. That's so long. That's so long. Political power. Uh, you know what? Cutting a deal? We might want to cut a deal. Hmm. How about we secure the trade routes for quite a while first? Because we can always get down here later. So, cutting a deal. So, with their leader dead and their council indecisive, and their heir apparent and inexperienced novice, the Atslani hold, oh, Atslani hold over us has never been weaker. And that's that when there's weakness to be found, there's profit to be made. So, we get more stability, lose war support, and extra trade overlord minus 10%, which sounds confusing. Which sounds quite a bit confusing. That's okay. That's totally okay. So I'm really spending a lot of time here on events and decisions because we, we're going to have opportunities to trade with more people eventually. That's why I want to get to these focuses as fast as possible because it open, it opens up the game just a little bit more. We got enough caps. Buy more guns. And I'm also buying more guns and I guess slaves so that we can have a good relation with the black market so that we can get better stuff. Supply line too maybe eventually, you know? We get basic melee weaponries good stuff, you know, maybe we could sell out data equipment later. You never know what's in stock in the black market. Cool, I'm going to immediately do this, though. Oh, we got a little bit of political power. Ooh, I'm not going to get another guy yet. However, I will do this. I want to guard, I need to guard every open hole to our nation. And open to traders is okay. 
I'm going to keep it like this just because even though we don't have resources, I want that construction speed, research speed, factory output. I really want that. So that's okay. This, though, let's go ahead and do that. Let's lower the amount of consumer goods that we don't get. That's awesome. Next up, we're about to get paid. 16 days, two weeks, we're going to have slaves. Good stuff. Right now, our autonomy is currently... Oh, there goes... Oh, there goes... Iron Lance. Really, guys? Come on, man. Come on. Just like the she. Uh, our autonomy is slowly going up just because of our own, uh, you know, our own work as well as anything else. No. We're not really exporting too much to our overlord, I guess, at the moment. They don't really need us too much. And our overlord is fighting other people. Good. Fight other people. Make yourself weaker so we can make ourselves stronger. Uh, you know what? I had someone on my Discord, which you should totally go check out sometime, uh, if you haven't already. Local workspaces. It's only a little bit ahead of time. But you can also get more population faster and more max factories in a state, more production efficiency base and output. Sure, I'll do it. Why not? Engineering stuff. Get get some combat language. And for me, we're going to mostly be using infantry. Not robotics. Even though robotics sound like fun, we're going to be using mostly infantry. So we're not using refined warfare. We're not going automated warfare. We could do asymmetrical warfare or conventional warfare. I might do conventional warfare just because we get that 5% recruitable population, which is so good. Even though asymmetrical warfare is really pretty awesome. Yeah, I said asymmetrical correctly. I'm probably just going to go with conventional warfare just because it's it's for infantry. We're mostly infantry, which means I've got to bait the AI into attacking us quite a bit later on. Which is fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, Caps economy. That's cool. We're gonna get some guns, we got our slaves, good stuff, good stuff. We can do ruthless drills, conscription drives, Poe fight for freedom. We have to be at war, in which we'll get more attack, defense, speed, and daily... Th oh, let's go to war! Come on, push the war! It's good for business! War is good for business! Let's go to war, give me some more daily autonomy. Ah, but we cut a deal with them. Let's secure the trade routes. Trade with outlying nations has fallen off in recent years due to recent instabilities. Therefore, securing our inroads to our neighbors is the first step in a larger economic expansion. We get a hundred more political power. Ooh, seed selection. That'd be good for the plantation. Clay working? Sure. Why not? Why not? Very good. Very, very, very good. And what is our deficit of guns like right now? None! A watchful eye. The Nueva Atzlan hand is a firm one and not to be trifled with. A new official has taken a particularly meddling approach to overseeing our nation and has managed to strip away several of our hard-fought liberties in the process. Distract and obfuscate him. Obfuscate him? I can never say that old word. Uh, you know what? I'd rather lose political power. That's why I want to get as much political power early as fast as possible, just in case things like that happen. Because we want freedom. Freedom to make all the business connections that we really, really want. Yeah, we can sell outdated equipment. We could make money back, but frankly, caps. I mean, we're trying to get a bigger army here, but you know, it's not the most important thing to do right now. Uh, let's grab another general. Yeah, let's grab two. Adrian, you're strong. You're agile. You're a fast shot. More attack, defense. Ooh, oh, max entrenchment goes down. You're not really good for defense, but you are good for defense. Oh, you got to plus 20% defense. Oh, that's nice. There you go, Emilio. Uh, we have Chichen, as, Chichen up there as well. Oh, another division. Great, great, great. So we're going to put Adrian here, who is who is a fast metabolism and a fast shot. That's kind of crazy. He's going to be a field marshal. Oh, hello. Hello there. Let's see. For us, we're mostly going to be using infantry early on. It might be wise to do light touch. That might be good. Infant oh, wait. Beloved leader. Minus 5% defense. Huh. I don't know if the leader did that. Division recovery rate. Oh, we might want divisions to recover faster, but you know what? We'll just go with light touch. He has quite the light touch. Please stop touching me, Adrian. Cool. Uh, conscription drives. Scavenging. There's still not too much we can do here. We can buy more weapons, but we're doing pretty darn well on them already. I wish I could make more than just guns, though. I need to research other stuff. Now, I'm not researching support equipment yet, because we do have a focus down here eventually that basically gives us support equipment and demo equipment for free, but it takes quite a while to get down there. I might just go ahead and research support equipment for the funsies, just for the fun of it, so we can get like dogs or something like that. Maybe some plantation dogs, get some decryption, that'd be awesome. Perhaps we'll grab some chem companies, medical chem companies, medical chem companies, things like that, you know, things like that. I'm always constantly looking because we want to secure the trade routes and this will be fun. 
All right, and there we are. Great. Secure the trade route. So, internal investments. So, we get internal investments. We use two civilian factories. Then we get two minus 2% 2 consumer goods factories for a month. Continued internal investment while it will allow for us to boost our external trading capacity. Thank you. Uh, oh, meeting their needs. It's back again. Go ahead and do that. We have enough political power, which... What can we do here? Military theorists. We need to request an Aztlan military mission. Daily army XP sounds pretty darn awesome. Right-hand man. Wow. 25% reinforce rate. Brute El Capitan. Affable. Ghoul. That's okay. Tactically minded. The right-hand man is probably more organization and recovery. God dang, son. Major businesses. We want to build a lot of civilian factories early on, so I might do this. Oh, we got 5% there. More consumer goods. More growth and base. I'm just probably going to grab this. Because I want to build up civilian factories as fast as possible. So we can trade with Aztlan. Taking care of the competition. Goods for Geros. Ooh, what do we want? Let's trade with Tzotzil. No, Honduras. Because Tzotzil might die. So we don't want that to happen yet. So Honduras is a wild place. The last line of defense against a horde of horrors. And a jungle that extends without end. Perhaps we can give them a discount for their services to a civilization. Perhaps. Because, you know, we're, we're playing safe. These guys down here, no one really messes with these guys. Tzotzil might piss off these guys over here. Troll War and Declare War on the Red Breakers. And our master... Master and uh, the chi chicken people, they, they hate each other, but whatever. So we have another inattentive eye. I read this earlier, so I'm not really going to read it again. We can get more autonomy or more political power. I'm going to go with autonomy. I like freedom. As long as it doesn't cost me too much. And we're going to trade with Honduras. Beautiful. Mm. So if you have any ideas which, with which ministers I should take, please let me know in the comments below. Military High Command. These guys look all right, not too bad, pretty cool. Uh, just because this is definitely a different way or different type of nation for me to play. Usually I like to go hard early on, depending on the situation, like Vault City. If you play Vault City early on, I like to expand. If you play the Yakuza Nation, the Yakuza, expand, you know, stuff like that. Expand, 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 and who do we get next? Pedro! Ooh, skilled, great! Uh, that's... Everyone has a fast shot down here or something. Strong, perceptive, large... No, lucky. I think it'd be large and lucky. Why not? Idiot, savant, attack. I like the attack. Night person, sniper, awareness. Uh, you know what? I'm going to save this for later. I'm not really sure what I want them to do yet. But they're all going to train because I want bigger ghouls. I want some thick ghouls. Oh, yeah. Screw the regular infantry. Give me some ghoul boys. Well, that, sounds, that sounds really weird. Uh, good internal investments. I want to keep an eye on this right now. Guns looking muy bueno, as I do say in Costa down here. I don't know how to pronounce that. X-O-C-H-I-C-A-L-C-O. -C -C and then we have... Yeah. Oh, Geros de Andres supports the rabble. Launched a raid to help slaves within our nation escape. This is a great grave insult that will jeopardize our relations. One day soon, forces will sack San Pedro Sulla. In revenge, and we will place chains upon their leaders, loved ones, to teach them the price of messing with us. We get stability. Oh. Fives? Oh. I bought those slaves. How dare you? <laughs> freedom? They have to buy their freedom, man. Don't you understand? Don't you understand, Honduras? We're even trying to trade with you. Why do you do this to us? Thought we were buddies. Hmm. Terrible. Terrible people now. Look how fast my uh, opinion changes when they do stuff like that. Terrible. Uh, but we got some thicker boys. Actually, it's good that we're training our ghoul divisions since we're trying to make them bigger. That's good. That's good. That's good. Emilio. Very nice. Uh, can I, I don't think I can send volunteers anybody. Hmm. We really need Chichen Itza to fall apart or something. To go crazy. Nothing there. So, with our political power, what do we do? What do we do? Organize slavery. Rely on slaves. Indentured servitude. Oh, construction speed goes up. Hmm, that stuff is okay. Major businesses, infrastructure, uh, robots, medical stuff, regular the people. I'd probably do that, recruitable population factor 3%. Supply grace can be pretty good as well if you're finding a lot of people. I'm probably going to go with, even though this looks really awesome, uh, consumer goods. Let's go with that. It's probably not really that worth it, but it'll come in handy later on. And I have the political power now, and there's really no point to save it up. There's really no point. 
cool. Come on, come on, come on. Let's grab trade with Honduras. In a week, we get one off map civilian workshop. And, oh, a couple more divisions. Just let time go on and let's research and build ourselves up. Hey, look, a ship. Actually, oh, no longer get internal investments. What? What is that about? Let's go ahead and actually upgrade the ship that we currently have. Uh, who cares about that? Mm, medium deck weaponry. Good, good, good. Point of fence. Get some more anti-air, even though I don't think it would matter too much. Get a little bit, a few more ores for now. Seagulls, scouts. This actually isn't looking too bad. Go, you know, scrap it. I, I don't really care. Uh, river fleet, sure. So we made our ships, our screens, a little bit better, and we can trade with Honduras. Uh, trade goods for Geras. We lose consumer goods, which is why I did the minus three percent consumer goods guy. We get more weekly manpower, which isn't bad, but it's only twenty-five. Let's do trade with Tzotzil, because I want lots and lots of trade, tons of trade. So our position with Tzotzil is precarious to say the least. But far be it from us to let the threat of an upcoming bloody war get in the way of good business. Absolutely, business is, or will appear to be, booming. So we get minus one off map civilian workshops. When this decision is removed, we add one off map civilian workshops, and we either get trading success, trade mission report, or in human capital. Very cool. And it does cost 20, 10 political power, which we do have 1.58 a day, which is muy bueno. We have some secret languages. Very good, very good, very good. Let's go ahead and grab resistors. And local workspaces will be done very soon, even before 2275. Love it. Good, good, good. We can probably go ahead and grab this as well. Basic tools? Sure, why not? I could get the, the tech that allows us to uh, train soldiers 3% faster. Eh, it's alright. Uh, um, there's really no rush for me to do that right now. Let's continue doing internal investments. And now this is important. Financial decisions. As other nations begin to invest in our company, our stock value continues to rise. However, if we cannot meet investor expectations for growth, both of our economies will suffer for So this is hard to do, actually. We will fail this if we do not have one free civilian factory. And if that happens, we get 2% consumer goods taken away from us for 180 days. Basically half a year, which is quite a bit. To do this, to get the effects when failed, because we want to fail... To get minus 2% consumer goods, we need to have at least one spare civilian factory. Now, it's pretty hard to do unless you just delete all your factory lines. And I'm not here to tell you how to do it. I will tell you, I'll, I will show you what I'm going to do, though. So, let's take a look over here. So, we got three. That's not a lot of factories. That's really not a lot. So, we have 180 days, 150 days left to do stuff like this. That's okay. I might just delete. Actually, you know what? If it's only three, I can deal with three of four trade mission report. Our caravans have returned a little lighter in pocket than we would hope for, but on the other hand, they're still alive, so we shouldn't complain too much. We get an off-map civilian workshop and political power. Great. So, we'll do that. We'll plop you there. And once this is done... Oh, five. Five might be a bit much. But not really. Come on, complete it. So then we can get the bonus of having... Uh, Less consumer goods for a while. They're off oh, six. Oh, six is kind of pushing it. I'm going to delete all this. And then that, we can meet the investors' needs. Now, you don't want to go too high just because it gets kind of ridiculous. Not going to lie, it gets a little ridiculous. So, can we do... Oh, okay, so then it resets, and now they want seven. Which, honestly, kind of sucks, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. I mean, you're going to get hit anyways, eventually. It does hurt you a little bit more than our... You know, headmaster government over a new Atslan for like two months more for us. So whatever, we get profits from drugs. Great, love it. So that's it's okay. It's okay. It's definitely okay. Uh, I definitely need to uh, go to that focus over here. Request an Atslan military mission, which I might do next, or get down there as fast as I can after this. That might be good because it gives us more weekly war support, like I said, and. That's one more reason. Yeah, to get that guy. Just get more army XP instead of just training all the time. Which is okay. Training is okay. But, yeah, it is what it is. Ghouls, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Conventional warfare, great. Let's go ahead and grab battle plans. Max planning, thank you very much. Oh, night meeting is good. Lower my political power, but we still get 1.46, which is pretty darn decent. Pain of men declare war on dead horses. That's, isn't that kind of early? That seems a little early to me. 
Ah, thread with so itself. So let's do plantation security. Manpower has never been our strongest suit. Often we've had to outsource the security of our office or coffee plantations to our Aztec overlords. With Atzalan on the decline, however, we need to be prepared to take control of our own military defenses. More army XP, which is exactly what I want. And a double research bonus for infantry attack. Very cool. Very good. Very good. Anything else down here? Nope. And prepare a trade mission to Tzotzil. Port Mala join the Northern League. No one cares, my friend. And, okay, I said the first time no one cared. And they still did it to us. Good. We just want to trade, trade, trade. Current off map factories, three. 18, not bad. And we're currently using eight, which isn't bad. Meet divest, dem investors' demands. 2% isn't bad. I might just take the hit. It's 2%. Never mind. It's 5%. Yeah, I don't want to get it too high. I mean, it's nice to meet investors' demands, but, uh, you know, sometimes we're just trying to scrape by. I mean, we can look like we're doing well, but on the inside, we're doing okay. Just, you know, trying to get through the day-to-day. -day. Cool, let's do that. You guys come over here. Train, 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 train. Do that. Thank you. We got enough political power, though, to do this. Miguel! Miguel. Agile. Strong. Gliders. And he's got some tight nuts. That's a, that's I would never think I would have said that on a, in Old World Blues. Ooh, he's got some tat nuts. Uh, def act defense. Ah, oh, get some more defense. We're pretty good on defense. Make defense even better. Uh, get some motorized flight. That'd be great, great, great. Ah, the trade mission report. And this is the exact same thing. So we get a little bit more political power. And an off-map civilian workshop. Conscription stuff. Cool. I want to make, make more money. Come on. More Honduran trade profits. We want to do Atslan as well eventually. Look at all this political power. Love it. Love it. Chief of the Army, Slavery, eh, it is what it is. Affable, um, there's really not much I can do with this stuff. I might do rough and ready shovelers just so we get more infrastructure, construction speed. Because I do like infrastructure quite a bit. Power armor speed, infantry equipment production, that hurts us. Eh, let's get some of that, it's fine, it won't matter. Internal investments, yes please, always doing internal investments. Oh, oh let's see what happens with Tootsil Trade Profits. And oh, nothing. Well, completed. Oh, it takes another certain number of days. Cool. Uh, go ahead and grab reinforce rate. I like the reinforce rate. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. I got a lot of manpower. That's nice. That's really nice. Oh, and I want to put you over here too. Go ahead and start training too. Only two, but you know what it is. What it is. I mean, these guns, they're okay. Five hundred in reserve is pretty good. Completed. Eleven days. Adds off minus two. How much autonomy do we have now? We're slowly, we're so slowly trying to get up. Country 70.70.25. It takes a while to do that. It just takes a while. That's all it is. And then we shall have. Oh. Hmm. Ah, plantation security. Very good. Very good. Uh, I really want to do this though. But I really want that. I want to do so many things, guys. Let's do trade with Atalan first. So we have all sorts of trade going on all over southern Mexico and even into Central America. So Atalan is the bread and butter of our coffee trade, but that doesn't mean we can take these customers for granted. A new trade initiative to the Atalan border cities is the first stop in our coffee chain empire. So, but unfortunately, that's where we're going to have to leave it for today, my friends. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below and tell me how much you like coffee, whether you like it or you don't. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.